Greetings fellow modelers. Today we're going to be looking at the OS2U Kingfisher from the Quick Build series. This was brought to you by our kind Patreon sponsors. So let's begin. Trust me, go to Fiddler's Green, check their website out. You can get three free models when you sign up. And here we have the Kingfisher. So we have the main fuselage and then we have the nose which is consists of two pieces. Stabilizer, prop, the central flow and the stabilizing floats. And of course our main wing and here is a basic construction diagram of how to get it done. Let's look at our tools. Scissors, cake decorating tool, tweezers, can never get enough, and a lean tacky glue, school glue, super glue, and knife, ruler, and toothpick. In anything that I do, I love tackling cutting out the parts first. Me, I get overwhelmed easy when I'm looking at the full thing, so I like to cut them into bite-sized section, so to speak, and then look at them piece by piece and assemble them as needed. That's a cross section. It's going to be important when we do our fuselage, so let's look at how we do this baby. We cut out all the parts that need to cut. I really like this bird, the Kingfisher. It's a fascinating aircraft, World War II observation aircraft, used mainly with battleship to detect and correct and adjust fire control. Oh, by the way, you see me cutting the wing area out and not popping them out yet. I usually do that after I roll the fuselage. After a decent enough roll, then I pop them out, but continue to roll. And then we now fold backward, as you see there, the area that's needed to build our fin. And use a straight edge ruler. I use the back end of the x -Acto knife to help form a crease to fold where it needs to be folded and to bend. And here we join the fin and we make sure it is flat and straight by using our ruler and then we join the rear part. Now here's where that profile that you see there comes into play. We're going to make sure as close as possible, make sure that profile matches what is there. And then to get the proper width, we score and fold and then we're going to glue the other side of the fuselage as you see here. Nice. This we roll using our paintbrush handle. This divide between navigator and the pilot. And then we glue. We use the paintbrush handle again to roll the front of the cockpit that joins the engine cowling. Then we join the rear. Nice. It's coming together quite lovely. And trimming. Because you do know, Fiddler's Green Kit, they may not be 100% accurate, but it is incredibly good to learn how to do modeling. So, wing center assembly. We cut the parts out, trim the excess off, use our paintbrush handle to fold the main area over and then join the rear. Here's something I found. In trying to put it into the fuselage, it was too wide. So I had to use my knife and put two small slots at the side. Then I could slide the central wing panel in nice 
Then we tack the areas first. I use my tweezer to push down against the fuselage and then crease the glue into place so it won't buckle. And then I use along the main. I use a tweezer again to make sure that the wing is coming into contact with the fuselage. And then I use crazy glue again, super glue. So this way, the wing won't fold or crease. It will be strong and it will stay in place. Now, easy peasy outer wing assembly. Once we cut off the excess, using both the knife and the scissors, we're then going to use the cake tool to roll the tip after we fold it over. Again, using the paintbrush handle. There you go. So use the edge of the cake tool. This is not 100% necessary, but I find it help with giving the wing a little more realistic look. Besides, it's good practice when you move on to building larger models, more complicated models. Trim again. We insert and now watch this after we have joined it. Make sure you add a slight dihedral. I put the tweezer in that has a flat head and I can press against it to make sure that the glue joints are firm and proper. Now when I'm doing the other wing, what's interesting is that I leave the wing tip open. As you can see, the tweezer can go right through. I did this so that once I put the other wing in place, I can join it to the central wing. And then once I'm finished, I just seal up the edge. Easy peasy. You got this, man. You can do this. This is fun, actually. And then, of course, we trim again. Now, remember, we're going to just be painting all the edges and thing at the end when it comes to finishing. So on to the stabilizer. Now, it's not shown, but I usually make a hole with my X-Acto knife blade, put a toothpick in, find out where it should come out on the other side, and bore an approximate hole. Now, once I do this, I'm going to put it all the way through and then clip the excess toothpick off and have it there. This I will super glue into position and then make sure the wing is level. So you'd have good looking stabilizers in the end. We score the part what is going to be folded. We add our glue and then press against a flat surface. Clip off whatever excess to make it even and nice. And then we join just like that. And of course we do the other side. The thing about doing these models, you are going to make mistakes and that's not a problem because it comes with practice. Here you see, I make sure that the stabilizers were aligned at the back and then I super glue into place. So that way it won't move ever again. Nice. So the cowling, I went maverick on it. We cut the cowling out and then we put slots along where the radiator cowl will be open. We join. Now these tabs here, you're supposed to fold it in and onto that, you would put the engine front. But once we cut out the pieces, you'll see what I've done. We cut this piece out, roll it with our paintbrush handle. Now, we're supposed to do this? Nah. -uh. What I did instead was to put the front of the cowling on it. Use my cake decorating tool. Try rounding it a bit at the front. Yes, the paper will crease a little bit, but man, does it sure pay off in looking a little more realistic when you add the cowling at the front. And yes, it is not perfect and the cowling is short. 
right? So keep that in mind. Don't be surprised when it's off. And then I paint the edges. Why? Because once I put that engine in, I won't be able to do it anymore. Nice. I just fixed the engine in place with super glue. And we have our cowling. Paint the inside of the engine cowling flap. And we figure out where it's supposed to be. We glue along here and then attach. Now, be careful not to push it far up. You see where that oil cap is and the underside of where the central float will be? Do not pass them. Canopy. I'll let the video speak for itself on how to do it. I really had fun doing this and I'm really grateful to the two persons who sponsored me. That's Micah Rogers and Stephen Gifford. I'm really, really grateful to you guys and thank you so much for making a dream of mine come through. And if you want to join, feel free to join us here as we continue to build better models and make our production quality much higher. So thanks guys. And thank you all for even just liking this video or watching it this far. All your encouragement means so much and I'm grateful to each and every one of you. So back to model building. Now that we have used our tweezer to hold the pilot's canopy in place, it's time for the navigator's canopy. Just a simple glue, simple put in place. Pay attention carefully to where you have the gray area that tell you do not come beyond that canopy completed. Let's deal with this stabilizing flow. A little more technical and hopefully you can see how I've done it without trying to explain all the details. So we basically cut out our stabilizing float. We lightly score along the lines there so that we can fold along the curve. Now here's the tricky part. We use our brush handle to bend the top of the stabilizing float. We could use our brush handle edge or the cake decorating tool to form the curve. We use a brush handle to then bend the lower parts out. I hope you can see clearly how it's been done. We check it and nice. Let's glue up this part. We good here. Let's glue the back. Check that it's aligned properly. Okay, we're good here. And after that, we check to see how the front fits and how it fold over. Now beside using regular tacky glue, I am going to use super glue to hold it in place while I get there. And there you have it. Stabilizing float, wing float. And now that arrow, we put the strut on pay attention to how i put it how it's placed let's super glue it into position and then we make a slot in that stabilizing float at the front only so that part now we can slide the front of that strut in to firmly hold it in place and we have our mount now for a little more accuracy, we place, according to the print, we place the struts that support the main strut. Just like that. And the central float. 
So it's a matter of carefully cutting and folding. And hopefully this video will be self-explanatory. Look, I want to just thank each and every one of you. I have not forgotten all the other projects I have in 172 scale. I'm trying to find a balance to make 133 scale models and also the Halinski series that I would love to start. But I'm thinking in order for you to really like what you're seeing and to want to do it, let's start with something simple, hence Fiddler's Green. So I hope you like what you're seeing. I hope you would consider joining Patreon. And sorry if you have heard my dog in the background, pretty excited. And I am going to leave this audio clip in. It's family after all. Dog name, Luna Marie. I want you to really enjoy modeling. And if you don't feel like modeling, at least you would know have a good Saturday run, get a coffee, sit down, relax, and just enjoy a morning show with me building these models for you. We then roll the bottom of the float and we then apply glue to the forward edges only. This we tack to the front and then on one side, we fully glue to the float gluing the base to the float. Once that is secured and dry, we then apply glue to the other side and our float is complete. And to make sure everything stays in place, we super glue the edge. We now apply the float struts to the main float itself, strengthening it using super glue along the spine of it. So this way it will be super strong before we attach it to the fuselage. Pay attention carefully to where the turn is. When you put the rear one on, make sure that the part that's higher is facing the outside. Did a quick alignment and we cut the slots. Bear in mind, it's not 100% accurate, so you might have to make the slots a little larger or a little wider like we did with the central wing. Once we get it there, we apply super glue. And we now basically have our model. Good. The prop assembly. In the interest of time, I did not drag this one out. Simply glue the prop together, roll it, and then we use a toothpick with super glue to attach to the center hub paint that hub then apply glue and then we just push it in place painting my favorite part simple quick and rub it in well this will be it for today's episode that was really kindly sponsored by my first two patreon members Micah Rogers and Stephen Gifford. Thank you so much for making a dream come true and I hope many more of you will join our crew on Patreon to help get this out. Until then my friends, take care, walk good and as always, one love.